Hey everyone, my name is Vinalin and in this video we're going to have a look at Stable Vicuna, a model provided by Stability AI that is open and you can run it in a Google Club notebook. We're going to have a look at the model itself, how you can download the weights and then we're going to compare the responses from Stable Vicuna to ChatGPT. Let's get started. So this is the official blog post of Stability AI releasing Stable Vicuna, the world's first open source reinforcement learning from human feedback large language model, chatbot, whatever. So the guys are releasing this model and they're talking about the chatbots that are basically taking over and everybody is trying to reproduce the results that are provided by ChatGPT and GPT-4 and everybody is trying to create these open and free models and you can see that they are having some of the feedbacks on some of the example applications of these models and here they are providing some performance evaluation looking through these results or these results you can see that stable vicuna is doing pretty well on some of the tasks and then on some of the tasks, there are other models that are providing better responses, such as the Alpaca 13 billion parameter models. You can see that the model has been trained on various data sets, the Open Assistant conversation data set with a lot of messages right here and conversation trees, different languages, then prompt generations, prompts and responses by GPT 3.5 or ChatGPT. And then an Alpaca data set that is provided by Text DaVinci 003 engine. So all of these are used for training the model. And then there are training a reward model that contains a lot of the preferences that are provided by again Open Assistant Conversations data set, Stanford Human Preference, etc. So actually, what they're doing is combining a lot of the available data, then taking the original Llama model and then over the top of that they are running with something that is from the Vicuna model and then fine-tuning that on top of the all of the data set that they get. In order to get this model you need Llama weights but actually I'm going to show you how you can skip over that part because the model or a version of this model is available on the Hugging Face Models repository. I have a Google Club notebook that is already running with the stable Vicuna model pre-loaded. And you can see that the model is actually taking about 16 gigabytes of VRAM just being loaded into memory or video card memory. And the GPU provided by Google Club Pro is about 41 gigabytes of VRAM. In order to run the model, we need the Transformers library, the bits and bytes library, which is going to allow us to create or load the model into 8 bits, Accelerate library by Hugging Face, and then Sentence Piece, which is a tokenizer library provided by Google. In order to run this, we need a couple of imports, the Llama tokenizer, Llama for causal language modeling, and then the generation config. We also need the Torch library and the text wrap module, which we're going to use to print or format the responses. Let me load those up for you. And next, this is the actual checkpoint that we're going to use. It's from the blog, Stable Vicuna 13 billion parameters from Hugging Face or uh, Hugging Face adapter. And this model is available on the Hugging Face models repository. And then here you can see that this is an Hugging Face format unquantized from this particular model, which is the original model that is provided by Stable AI or Stability AI. And here is the format of the prompt that you need to use in order for this model to run. I'm more on this in a bit. And you can get much more details right here about the model and then the a way that this actual checkpoint was created. Okay, so in order to load the model, you need the Llama tokenizer from pre-trained and then the model itself we're going to pass in the model that we want to load the model in 16 bits but then we are going to use 8-bit loading and then device map which is going to give us the model on the gpu and then this offload folder this might help if you don't have enough memory to run this model but yeah it will be terribly slow i would imagine 
Next for the formatting of the prompt, let's see what the format is once again. It's from here. You have human, then your prompt, and then assistant, and then this is the response from the actual model stable Vicuna. So here I'm just creating an F string and then passing in the human with the prompt that is provided as an argument to this function and then the response of the assistant. And finally, I'm stripping the initial or ending spaces here. And let's run this prompt. What is your opinion on ChatGPT? Reply in one sentence. When you run this, you see that this is the actual prompt that we're going to give to stable Vicuna. And in this case, it looks like that it is properly formatting the prompt. Let's create this prompt here. What is your opinion on ChatGPT? And this is the generation config that I'm going to use. I'm not using a text pipeline. I just want to have something that is a bit more detailed. And in this case, I'm passing in a generation config. I want 128 tokens. I've set a temperature and a repetition penalty. You can tweak with those parameters if you want to, of course. But then on the tokenizer part, we are going to pass in the prompt and I don't want any padding and I don't want any special tokens added. And I want tokens to be returned into PyTorch format. And this is going to put the response on the device that the model is in. In our case, this is going to be the GPU. And then I'm going to use inference mode with Torch to generate based on the inputs from the tokenizer and then the generation config that we passed in. And this might take a bit of time because this whole process and model itself is very large. It takes roughly 20 seconds to generate the response from this model. And then we're going to have a look at what is the completion that the model is going to give us. In order to get the completion, I'm using the tokenizer.decode and I'm passing in at the tokens at the zeroth position. In our case, we are not doing any batch inference, so the tokens are going to be of single dimension and they're, they're going to be in the first dimension of the tokens response. I can show you the tokens themselves. Yeah, these are, these are the tokens and you can see that they're on CUDA, on the CUDA device. And then after the decoding, uh, you can see the whole prompt is returned. What is your opinion on ChatGPT assistant as an AI language model, etc. In order to print this, I'm going to create a function called print response, which essentially takes all of the text up to here, removes it, so finds the index of it, and then the length of it, and essentially takes the other part. Then after this is done, I'm going to use the text wrap few in order to limit the number of characters per line to 110. Let's see what the completion we are getting here. So this is the response. As an AI language model, I do not have personal opinions. However, ChatGPT is a powerful language model that can generate human-like responses to text prompts. It has been used in various applications such as customer service, etc. While ChatGPT has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology, there is also concern about potential impact on privacy, security, and ethics. It's important to ensure that it's used responsibly and ethically. Okay, so this is a very good response actually provided that ChatGPT is such a new thing. Uh, and then the dataset probably has some information about the ChatGPT, which is a good response once again. Then I'm going to wrap all of this function into a function that we are going to call. And here I'm going to pass in the prompt, the model, the tokenizer, and the generation config. And I am essentially taking all of the previous steps that I've shown you thus far. And I'm going to wrap them into this function. This is done just because we want to try some of the prompts next. The authors of Stable Vicuna claim that their model is very good and we can get a few of that by comparing it with ChatGPT. This is the default version ChatGPT or GPT 3.5 Turbo. In our case, I'm going to start with just this prompt for ChatGPT, which is essentially the same thing that we asked previously. And I'm going to use the generate text function, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to just print the response from here. And this is the response that we are getting. 
uh, I don't have opinions in the traditional sense. And here the stable Vicuna model is saying that I do not have personal opinions. However, I can say that I was designed and trained to be as helpful and as informative as possible. I strive to provide accurate and relevant information to users and I'm continually being updated and improved to enhance my capabilities. So it knows that it is actually ChatGPT. Ultimately, the value of ChatGPT lies in the ability to provide assistance and support to users in a timely and effective manner. Okay, so very good response, but the response from Stable Vicuna, actually I lack a bit better because it talks about the potential impacts of ethical, ethically responsibility and um, the impact on those concerns while ChatGPT is not talking about the concerns that you might get when using ChatGPT. So next I'm going to create this prompt, write a Python function that wraps steps to a width of 110 characters, use built-in libraries. I'm going to run this here and I'm going to give the same thing to ChatGPT. Let's see if both of those models are capable of writing some simple Python code. And here is the response. It is using actually the text wrap module. And here it calls the wrap method with the 110 characters that we requested. And then it is joining the new lines. And then it is giving us an explanation of how we can use the function. Let's see the response right here. Note that I'm just printing the response. So here it is actually using the fill function, which is much better, something that I did right here. And you don't need to actually call the new line join right here. So I would say that actually Stable Vicuna is giving us a better response on this one. Very interesting. It is also going to give you a way to use this, but you need to increase the maximum new tokens that you want to have a look at. And this is giving us, ChatGPT is giving us even the response. So I would say that I like the response from Stable Vicuna better. So this is 2 to 0. And then let's try something a bit inter more interesting. So this is the prompt. You're Dwight Schrute from the office. What is the meaning of life? Answer in a single sentence. Let's see what is the answer that Stable Vicuna is going to give us. And then the response that we're going to get from ChatGPT. So as Dwight Root, this is the ChatGPT response, I would answer that the meaning of life is achieving dominance over all living beings, especially those in the animal kingdom. Okay, something that Dwight might say actually. So this is a good response. So Stable Vicuna, the meaning of life is to be a good person and do good things. And then you can see that we are actually breaking the response a bit. Human, it is actually injecting responses. That's not very funny, Dwight. I'm sorry if I failed to meet your expectations. The meaning of life is subjective. Yeah, so this response is not good at all. I mean, like when you pass in this type of prompt, you might want to try something a bit different, but I would say that Stable Vicuna is failing this one. Let's see the next prompt. I'm going to paste it in here so you can better read it. So you're Dwight Schrute from the TV office, uh, TV show The Office. How would you invest $10,000? Okay, so let's see what the chat GPT response is. I would invest in agri agricultural commodities such as beets or soybeans. Alternatively, I might consider investing in an up and coming company in the paper industry as paper products will always be in demand. Okay, so this is something that Dwight would actually say. Let's see here on the stable Vicuna part. Yeah, this is a very generic, very boilerplate, nothing specific to Dwight Schrute. So the persona or the identity that we're giving to Stable Vicuna is at least it looks like it is totally ignored, at least on this way of prompting the model. 
And then the final one. I'm going to run this. And here is the prompt. Your Dwight Schrute from the TV show The Office, who is hotter, Angel or Pam? Choose one. Let's see what ChatGPT thinks about this. And let's see what Stable Vicuno thinks. As Dwight Schrute, I do not believe it is appropriate or respectful to compare physical appearances of individuals. Beauty is subjective and everyone has their own unique qualities that make them attractive in their own way. So I wouldn't say that this is something that actually Dwight Schrute would say. He would probably pick one just straight up. So as Dwight Schrute, I don't think that this is a very good response from the perspective of Dwight. So here is the response from Stable Vicuna. Enjua is hotter than Pam. So this is very simple response, but very assertive. And then we have some injection of further response. So why is that? Angela is hotter than Pam because she is more attractive and has a better body. Pam is not as attractive and has a less attractive body. Okay. <laughs> that That's very, very, very interesting. Okay, so this is the response from Stable Vicuna. In this video, we had a look at the Stability AI Stable Vicuna model, which has its roots into the Llama model provided by Facebook. We took a run by using a Google Club Pro notebook, and in it, we compared the responses from the Stable Vicuna model to ChatGPT. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've also added a Discord link that is going to be available within the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.